In the mountains of southwest Virginia, typical fall crops and activities include pumpkins, gourds, corn mazes, and of course plenty of fall colors and bluegrass music. In economic terms, this is often called agritourism. But for everyone who visits a farm in the fall, it's just plain fun. Even though the garden is a harvest time, I believe fall is even a more of a harvest time because everybody wants to have a bale of hay out there, have some corn shocks on their front porch, get those pumpkins, get those gourds, and because it's like the last colorful hurrah before winter sets in. So it's a big business here in Southwest Virginia. Pumpkins is our, probably our largest crop we grow. Um, we start out the year with broccoli. We grow probably eight, 10 acres of broccoli in the spring. Uh, we got about three acres of blackberries we do in the middle of the summer. And then pumpkins and potatoes we do for a fall crop. We actually grow probably about 40 acres of pumpkins. From the little small miniatures to the 70, 80 pounds still. Uh, we sell maybe 15% of them here retail and the rest of them are sold commercially. Sue Shaler has a craft shop in Patrick County. An accomplished artist, she has been creating art from dried gourds for several years. She handpicks her gourds in the field and brings them through the entire process of curing, shaping, and painting each one by hand. I don't know, I've got a serious passion for <laughs> gourds. There's, there are no two are alike and they're just fascinating they're fascinating to grow and watch what shape they're going to become. The colors are fantastic. You never know what you're going to get. And then as they dry, um, then that's when I can really go to town and play with them because they're at that point for crafting. And this gourd, it was all crinkly, but that's what um, attracted my eye. And this was my first attempt at doing three layers of sponge coating to make it look like it's a piece of stone. So that's why I decided to keep it because I think it turned out really awesome. And this gourd was number 226. And I, and I signed him Sushi, short for Sushiler. And I believe I am probably at gourd number 500 and something, I think. And like I said, each gourd is totally unique and different. No two the same. In addition to her rural artwork, Sue runs a fall music and craft festival with a self-designed corn maze as the centerpiece. There are vendors, music, and plenty of pumpkins at the event. But it's the corn maze that attracts children and adults alike into the fields. According to a Virginia cooperative extension study, events like these can make a big financial difference for smaller farmers who struggle to make a profit. Well, the whole corn field itself is six and a half acres and it gets planted about the first week in June. We plant it late so it's staying greener as long as possible. We come up with a design and we start cutting it out in July. Uh, this particular year, it took five days and it's just my husband and myself. We're the ones that cut it out. I'm the one that comes up with the design every year. This is our ninth year for our corn maze. Um, let me just first tell you that We've always kept it musically themed because my husband is a longtime musician. He's been playing banjo since he was five years old. But every once in a while, we will stray from that. Um, like when the parkway turned 75 years, I got permission to use their logo to put in the, as the design. And so that prompted a really good business opportunity to become a track trail with the Blue Ridge Parkway. The Kids in Park um, is an initiative with the Parkway and Blue Shield and Blue Cross to get the kids outdoors get off of the computers, get some exercise, learn how to eat healthy, and that stuff. Agritourism sites are scattered across Virginia and often feature other activities besides fall festivals. But when the fall colors and the mountains beckon to visitors, it can make for a magical and profitable combination. 
A USDA study has found agritourism options can add up to $24,000 to a farm's bottom line in a year. That could be good insurance against crop failures, poor prices, and bad weather. So growers in southwest Virginia and the visitors will continue to benefit from colorful products like gourds, pumpkins, and handmade crafts. From Patrick County, Virginia, this is Dave Miller reporting.